8 route shields, the unsung hero of navigation and the only way to distinguish roads from each other prior to the invention of digital maps, that is, unless you wanted to pull out an atlas. In this video, I'll be reviewing every state route shield in the nation in alphabetical order from Alabama to Wyoming. First off, we've got Alabama. You guys went for the old state outline design, I see. It doesn't look bad, though it could be a touch more simplified down by Mobile. Second, there's Alaska. Now Alaska, I really like what you've got going on here. It's quite original, though, to be fair, I don't think an outline of your state would have worked too well on a route shield, so this was definitely the best option. It's a good thing you got it right, too, since it's the only route shield used in your state. Next up, we've got Arizona. Now Arizona, I see you also went for the state outline design, though if I'm being honest, you guys don't pull it off all that well. It doesn't look horrible, don't get me wrong, but I'd wager it's actually a little too simplified, and I don't think you really need the state name if you already have the state outline. Arkansas. Man, y'all really like this state outline design, don't you? To be fair, Arkansas, I do like what you've done here. Even if it isn't that original in concept, I think you guys pulled off the best when it comes to execution. California, what the heck is this? I mean, the shield doesn't look too bad on its own, although I do think you could drop the state name. But, ugh, does this blend in when you slap it on an overhead? At least you guys did something original, I guess. Next! Bonus points to you, Colorado, for having your state flag on your shield, though I'd wager it could be a touch smaller. Not a bad shield by any means, I just wish the number was a bit more legible. Connecticut. Let's see here. Is this it? This is just a square. You guys did quite literally the bare minimum. Solid C- minus job here, guys. Delaware, I hope you did something more crea- Ah, what the heck, nobody remembers you half the time anyway. Florida, nice design here. You guys still did the state outline, but you changed it up a bit and made the number more legible. Good job! Georgia, I see you also went with the state outline design, though much more akin to the likes of Alabama and Arkansas. I don't necessarily hate these outline shields, but they'll be difficult to rank later since I'll essentially be rating the shapes of the states. Hawaii, I don't really know how to feel about yours. It really just seems like a color swapped version of California's shield with a smaller number. I mean, at least it's not a square. Idaho, yours definitely puts a unique spin on the traditional state outline design. I see you opted for an inverted color scheme which, if nothing else, is at least original. It doesn't look bad, but the numbers could stand to be bigger. Now we return to my home state, Illinois. Now look, I love Illinois a lot, but oh boy does our route shield suck. It's just a square with our name inside of it. It doesn't get less creative than that, and it gets even more confusing since our neighbor state, Indiana, does the exact same thing. D- minus for both of us, this sucks. Iowa, please have something original. Kansas, I swear to the DOT if you have some basic shape as your route design. Well, this is actually pretty good. First of all, it's original shape within an original color scheme, and secondly, it doesn't have your state name on it. Good job. Unfortunately, we're back to elementary shapes with Kentucky, who opted for the plain old circle design on their shield. Please, Kentucky, try something original. Louisiana, this is certainly an interesting design. You chose the state outline, but you chose to fill up the dead space with your state abbreviation of all things. Your number could stand to be bigger, but this isn't as bad as I thought it would be, given the border of your state. Maine, stop copying Delaware's homework, and Maryland, stop copying Illinois. Let's see, Massachusetts. What is it with you New England states all opting for a square design on your state route shield? I can understand one of you doing this, but every single one of you does either a square or a circle, and on top of this it gets ten times more confusing since you're all right next to each other. Michigan, your design may be simple, but you rock that letter M. Props to you, out of all the states to start with M, you had the balls to claim this letter as your own, and plaster it on every single one of your state route shields. Minnesota, you might be the best in show so far. You're nearly a perfect example of what a state route shield should incorporate. Original design for one, original color scheme, big center number, and state name and state outline, both on top, but not too big as to obstruct the number. Nice job! Oh well, we had a good run there, but we're back to the circles of Mississippi. I guess it works for you guys, since none of your surrounding states opt for the same design, but some kind of standout feature would be much appreciated. Ah, Missouri, I've definitely seen your shield more than a handful of times. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just a state outline. There's not much more to be said about it. Really, Montana? You're gonna do this too? Be a geography YouTuber, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Try to come up with something more original, Montana. I'm getting quite sick of this box design by now. Nebraska, what the heck? Uh, this is definitely something. Bonus points for the original design, but I don't think I've ever seen a drawing this detailed on a state route shield before. Nevada, your sign is largely unoriginal, but short of turning your state route shield into a slot machine, I think this is about the best you can do to represent your state. Maybe make the number a bit easier to read, though. New Hampshire, I gotta say, I didn't have high hopes for you going in, but this is better than what I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I can't really tell what this is supposed to be. I'm not going to complain, though. Kudos to you for being the first New England state to not be a basic shape. New Jersey, can you live up to New Hampshire's original design? 
No, you can't. Oh, well, I guess that's par for the course. New Mexico, you're going right to the top of the list with Minnesota. This is top-notch. Original design and original color scheme, plus bonus points for not just being the outline of your state, which would have been incredibly easy to do. New York, your sign doesn't do anything interesting in the color department, but you guys do have an original shape, which is already more than I expected of you. There's not really much I can say to improve this one, it's largely unoriginal. North Carolina, you are literally just the Chinese knockoff of Michigan. You just stole their diamond design and stripped it of the M, its most defining aspect. North Dakota, you guys are certainly an interesting case since you are currently in the process of switching designs. Your new design, that you've been using since 2016, features your state outline with the route number and the name on top. It's not horrible, though it does leave a bit to be desired. Your old design, however, is really good, and I'd even put it near the top of the list with its distinct shape and large numbering. Ohio, you just did a state outline. I've really run out of things to say about these state outlines at this point. They're all just starting to blend together. Be to your job, I guess. Oklahoma, you also went with the state outline, but yours is more akin to the liking of Florida shield design, which I like since I don't think yours would look good with the standard white shape on black background design with your panhandle. Oregon, your design is uninteresting and I have nothing else to say about it. Stick with it if you want, but nobody's gonna remember this design 10 years from now. Next up is Pennsylvania, and while you guys didn't do much to make your design stand out, I'd say it thrives on shape alone, with the sharp edges and distinct geometry making it easy to point out in a crowd of circles and squares. Rhode Island, I don't want to give you much credit since you just did the state name plus square design, but you get one extra credit point for using your abbreviation instead of your actual state name. Whoa, South Carolina, you're going up with the big leagues. This design is very reminiscent of Minnesota's, and I love that since it incorporates all of the best elements of that shield. It's at the very least a breath of fresh air. South Dakota, you also did a good job. You're not going up as high as South Carolina did, since you essentially did your state shape for your design, but you do get some extra credit points for using a non-black and white color scheme. Tennessee, you're another interesting one, since you have two route shields in circulation. Unfortunately, both of them kind of suck. The first one is an uninteresting rounded triangle design, and the second one is just your state with the name and the number, which would be pretty decent, except you used some ugly font for your state name and not Highway Gothic. Ew. Texas, you, like many others, just adopted the boring name and number design. The only bonus points I can give you here is that you put the state name on the bottom of the sign instead of the top, but that doesn't really change much. Utah, however, I really like your design. It may be a bit crowded, but the beehive design is both simple and recognizable, making for the perfect state icon. I hope you keep using this design for years to come. Alright Vermont, give me something quick. The script's going on six pages and I'd like to actually get this video out before 2024. Hmm, this design is pretty good. It's not all that interesting shape-wise, but it does deviate from the black and white color palette. That being said, the green color may not blend well on overheads if California's design is anything to go off of. Virginia. Boring. Next. Washington, I don't think you could have gone with a better shield design. It both incorporates an original design and represents what your state is known for. This is about as good as it's going to get. West Virginia. Square. Bad. Next. Wisconsin, your route shield has the misfortune of really being a pain in the backside to animate, and I'm speaking from experience on that one. Other than that though, it's whatever. The original shape, but doesn't really stand out that much amongst the sea of black and white shields. And finally, we reach Wyoming, who did a bright yellow square. It's certainly original, I'll give you that. Overall, I've learned that a lot of these states need to commission a proper shield designer because there are far too many states in our nation with square and circle designs for the route shields. All in all, my ranking from worst to best goes Delaware, West Virginia, Maine, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Kentucky, Mississippi, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, Rhode Island, Montana, Maryland, Texas, California, Oregon, New Nebraska, Virginia, Hawaii, North Carolina, Tennessee Triangle, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Nevada, Idaho, Arizona, Georgia, Ohio, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Oklahoma, Florida, Old Nebraska, South Dakota, Idaho, New Hampshire, Wyoming, Vermont, Tennessee Label, Utah, Colorado, Michigan, Kansas, Alaska, New Mexico, Minnesota, and South Carolina on top.